This morning, the first topic of conversation among my co-workers was the first day of school for Portland Public. In fact, one of my co-workers sent this picture. While she was in a meeting working from home, her older son posted up close to his little brother, who had his first day of first grade, so he could help answer any questions. So yeah, this year is unusual, it's different, and parents I spoke to are just trying to figure it out the best they can. It's been um, a crazy couple of days. Lisa Kensel, who has three boys in the Portland Public School District, says she started getting emails on Friday about the start of school. Um, I felt a little bit like, ah, how do I handle this and work? And, and there's like 16 emails coming in and they've all been in the last two days and I'm trying to get my kids you know, space ready for them to be learning at home, you know, make sure their desks are all set up. And um, so it's, it's been a little bit stressful, I think more so than a normal school year. Uh, certainly we ask of our families a, a little patience and grace as, as we try to figure it out. Superintendent certainly... Guadalupe Guerrero says staff, employees, and teachers have been working hard to prepare. So far, so good. Uh, things are going smoothly. Thousands of laptops and devices have been given out to students, and there are three dozen hubs where kids can get grab-and-go meals. We're also delivering door-to-door -door over 500 meals uh, to students who, who really need that kind of level of service. Kensel is also involved in the Oregon Parent Teacher Association and has heard concerns from other parents. So we decided to bring those questions to the district. The first deals with special education students. It's because a lot of those students need that one-on-one -on -one support and they count on that predictability with their teachers and, and they don't have that. This is a group of students who we already know uh, needs our attention. Uh, we'll start by connecting with them. Um, and as soon as it's safe, uh, this is, we wanna have a game plan for beginning to bring back in-person limited um, um, student groups uh, wherever possible. The communication that's coming out I think is is well done but how are they um, handling um, gaps in that communication pipeline to some families. And we are in, in, in dialogue with our culturally specific community-based organizations and partners uh, to fill some of those gaps uh, wh whether it's checking in with families, uh, providing extended learning or mentorship uh, or supports that really will make a difference in making sure that none of our students fall through the cracks. Um, I feel like we need a lot more support staff. Portland Public Schools has, has used their Student Success Act monies to add four dozen more social workers and counselors on top of the ones we already employed. The next two weeks will be a soft start for PPS. The intent? To familiarize students and parents with new platforms and schedules, start forming relationships, and figure out which students might need more help connecting. We appreciate, I think, as parents that it's a soft start, you know, and we can kind of ease into this. Um, however, it's even with a soft start, it feels like it's a lot right now. Kensel says right now she's just trying to stay patient and positive, and she hopes other parents can find those things too. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.